Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm ready to do my full review on the Monterey Bay Knives Turbo. All right, this is a Peter Carey design. And the first thing I want to say is a huge thank you to Sanford Owen over at Monterey Bay Knives. He has been an awesome dude to get to know the last couple weeks, and he was gracious enough to send me this as a loaner so I could check it out, review it. I am going to be sending this off to Bob at the Knife Junkie next. This is a knife he specifically said he would love to check out from MBK when when I sent him my Slayback and my uh, and uh, Jake sent me his Roosevelt to check out. I sent that to Bob as well. Um, but yeah, so I said, hey man, I'll talk to Sanford. Sanford said, of course. So this is going off to Bob next so he can review it. This is right up his alley. So I'm excited to see uh, what Bob's thoughts are on the um, turbo. So what are my thoughts? Well, let's get into the review and then we'll wrap up with thoughts, right? Let's do that. But I want to say thank you to Sanford. So aesthetically, this is not my really type of knife, right? Uh, it's sort of tactical looking. Uh, it's also sort of like a... I don't know, just not my style. That's a stupid way to say it, but it just isn't. Um, but I do think it's a cool looking knife. So um, I can be objective about it, right? I do really like the blade shape. It has that spear point that just looks just mean right here, right? Just looks like a dagger at the tip. It just comes out the swedge right to that tip and then the edge comes up to it. It's just absolutely gorgeous right there. I love the little poon spoon that drops down right here. Um, absolutely cool. Um, it is a flat grind that starts about halfway up the blade. So you're not going to get stupid thin, right? Um, but it is a good edge. It cuts very well. Um, the OEM that MBK uses, they nail it every time. Um, they bring them down to a relatively thin edge. I'd probably say like 17, 18 thousandths. They cut extremely well. This is an M390 steel. You can see the uh, Peter Carey design logo right there. If you can catch the light. And MBK on that side. And um, if you haven't seen my first impressions, you can get an up-close look at the knife. If that's what you're after, you can go check that video out. Um, I will always show the knife up close, go over it. Um, that's why I do that type of video uh, for the first impressions for anybody who wants a desktop, you know, type experience. Um, yeah, so it also has a cool looking uh, pivot. It's kind of got like a triangle pivot, sort of microtech-ish looking. Uh, interesting flipper tab, which we'll get into in action. It's kind of a push button style flipper you'll see there. Uh, you have the Peter Carey clip with the dots in it. I don't know if having that number of dots is something, one, two, three, uh, six dots. I don't know if that has something to do with Peter Carey. Um, you do have this cool kind of like rock or geared backspacer that you can feel the texture on. Um, it's really cool that those humps kind of stick past the scales and you can really feel that they're not sharp or anything like that. It's just some bumps that you feel in your hand, which I think is really cool. Um, this is the Plain Titanium and M390 version. They are all liner locks. There is a blacked out titanium with blacked out blade version, which is pretty cool as well. I believe that one is available on the website, which is linked below, MontereyBayKnives.com. Uh, this version is out of stock currently as I record this. It may be in stock later. I don't know. Um, all right, so that's aesthetics. Let's get into... Oh, it is a satin grind, uh, satin blade, which I always appreciate. I love a good satin, and MBK always does that. Ergos. So you have about a three and a half inch blade, which means probably about a four and a half inch handle. Fits my hand, which is a large glove size hand extremely well um, i have to say the ergos on this knife are beautiful they are extremely comfortable my hand just kind of melts in here i can either land it right up here on the gym my thumb up here on the jimping 
or I can ride it down into that poon spoon and kind of caress this little, uh, you know, divot, whatever you want to call that ramp, reverse ramp. I don't know. And that feels excellent as well. The clip is not biting me at all as a lefty. That happens a lot where my middle finger gets bit by clips. Nothing there. You do have a sort of choke up point. I would call it a flipper choil. Um, it's sort of an at your own risk deal for me. It works perfectly. I'm not on the edge, at least not a sharp part of it. I can bear down like this. I'm not getting cut. It's fine. Um, and that gives you much more control of that blade. Now I can ride up to here. More precise cuts. If I'm cutting like an apple or something, that makes sense, right? Um, ergos are excellent. They really are excellent. Uh, cutting, I kind of went over that. Um, you know, saber grind or whatever, flat grind that starts halfway up, goes into that swedge, up into this tip. Excellent. Um, it cuts extremely well. Um, I had no issues with this blade. It's not my knife. It's a loner. So um, I took it easy on the knife. And let's be honest, I'm not a heavy user anyway. Um, I cut paper, opened a couple packages. Uh, I did cut that apple I mentioned, but I cleaned the blade right away after to be safe. Um, it did a fantastic job. Uh, it really did. I very much enjoyed it. Like I said, the ergos and then with that blade, it just is excellent. It really, really is. Uh, carry, that was an issue for me. Um, now, I don't think it was my shorts because I do have relatively thick shorts, some of them, but others like the ones I'm wearing today are not that thick. So let me test it again just to be on it or uh, objective. Yeah, so the clip is a bit tight, guys. Um, it has decent retention. But it kind of comes down to a point there. I don't know if you see that where the clip is, uh, where the, I don't know what you call that thing that pops over your pocket. But anyway, the point of the clip there, under there, um, that catches on your pants coming in. And if you have thicker pants, this is a bear. I remember one day I was like, oh, let me grab the uh, turbo to carry because I'm heading out and I'll throw it in my back pocket. That's where I carry right-handed knives. Uh, I'll throw it in my back pocket before I go so I can carry it a little bit, feel it out. And I went to put it in my pocket and I just was like, like trying to get it in there one handed and I couldn't, I, was, I just gave up. I was like, eh, and I grabbed another knife. Um, that doesn't bode well for me, right? I mean, or for the knife, like I don't like that. Um, now, just now with these shorts, it was tight, but I was able to pop it in and out one handed pretty easily. Uh, but it still was tight. So if you're going to be wearing a lot of thicker pants, you may need to just adjust the clip a little bit. I don't think it's like a deal breaker because these types of clips, these titanium milled clips, they can be adjusted. You can bend it out a little bit and make it to what you want, right? Um, and this could just be a one-off issue on this specific example. So um, I would not call it a deal breaker. It's just my experience was the clip was kind of tight, right? Um, okay, so that's that. Um, sounds. Okay. So the sounds on the deployment, eight, eight or nine out of 10, guys. This thing has a ka -ching. It has that sort of sharp eye design, Skaha 2, double detent click, if that makes sense. It pops out of the detent, out of the closed detent. I can't even demonstrate it because of the, you hear that? That sound is it popping out of that first detent hole, right? Then it clicks again when it locks up. So what you get is this kind of reverberating click because you're still hearing the click from the first one when it locks up and then it kind of bounces into that second click. It just is an amazing acoustic to me. It's one of the best sounds you can get on a knife. One of the reasons I love the Sharp by Design uh, Evo Typhoon I had 
because uh, it's just like click, 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 and it just sounds amazing. This has that. It's awesome. The closing sounds kind of a dull thud. Not much going on there. It kind of sounds a little bit muted because I think you have this kind of almost full backspacer taking up that sound. So it's not bad, but it's not great or anything. I'm giving this an 8 or a 9. Let's call it a 9 because of that click click. So satisfying, guys. Sit here all day listening to that. Um, action. Okay. This is where we get into the nitty gritty and into the opinion based stuff. Okay. Uh, and I want to keep that clear because this is my opinion. That's what these reviews are. Um, I am not a push button guy. I prefer to drag my finger and have a light switch, right? And you can do that with this knife, but you'll see there. I occasionally will slip right over it a couple times because it's not really made for the, the light switch. You can see how the flipper is set up. There's lots of jimping out here on the outside um, and there's none on the top and that's because what they want you to do is kind of grab it right here with your index finger and push in and down like so which is awesome it works so good when you do the push button but I don't like the push button I'm just not a fan of the it's not it's not satisfying to me. I love feeling a good detent, dragging that flipper and feeling it pop. And it just gives me some kind of sensation where a push button is just like, okay, I shoved it and the blade popped out, right? Um, yeah, yeah, that's what she said, whatever. But um, I just love a good light switch. So I don't know how else to explain that. It does work. I can drag it down it's not like it's bad it's just that oh, oh it's just that sometimes i slip over because the detent is really good that's another thing with action the detent is <sighs> dialed to perfection mbk has detents on lockdown i mean i have not felt an mbk with a bad detent for a long time the last one was like the kaiser uh freaking the, the, the first EZC, the 1.0, Kaiser made. That detent was very weak. Since then, since they've switched to this OEM with the sprocket, they have nailed the detents almost every single time. Every time on the knives I've handled. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you get one you think the detent's wrong, you tell them, and then they send you a new one that's perfect. So uh, I love that. I love that. Closing. Guys. Whoo. It's essentially a drop shot. It is. You just saw that. It's drop shot. Now, problem is the detent um, angle. So how do how do you say that? What's the best way to say that? It's a late detent. So like this is where the detent breaks. Boop. Now it's off the blade, right? Or on the blade? I always forget which one. On the blade. And the problem with that is you get caught, right? It does have a detent ball ramp, I think, because if you shake it enough like this, it will pass it. Um, it's less of an issue if you're right-handed because you just push, and it pretty much passes it if you hold it on a good enough angle, right? You can stop it right there if, you, if you're not low enough on the lock bar, but for the most part, you're not even going to notice it. I don't know how many right-handed people will even mention it. Being left-handed, I have to disengage and then pull the, the blade forward. And I'm already all the way to here, and I'm still not past that detent, right? And that just causes issues for me because I'll do this, and then it'll shake back up and lock back up, and you get like a double clutch, right? Um, I just prefer knives with an early detent break. A lot of knives break like right here. You know, you're already past it. This has a whole nother, you know, 10 degrees or whatever before it breaks. You know, I would venture to guess that this thing breaks at like 20 degrees or something like that. 
where most are going to break around like 10 or 12. I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. You need to go watch Knife Nerdery. All right? Go check out that channel because you'll learn a lot. But anyway, that's an issue for me, but I think it's a lefty thing. Otherwise, being left-handed, this is awesome. It's a liner lock. I have no lock bar that's getting in my way. Um, you know, obviously the clip is only on one side. Okay, but maybe awesome wasn't the best term. It's a liner lock, okay, which is good. <laughs> um, what else? It's a little heavy. I will say that some people are going to like that. Some people are going to hate that. Some are indifferent. Uh, comparable knives. I think the Varga VBR is a good comparable knife to this. Uh, and then, of course, the VLD is Peter Carey's uh, first design with MBK. I was not a fan of that knife at all. This I am much more of a fan of. Um, but... That takes us to uh, recommendations, right? Value, I guess, first. This is $200 or $215, something like that. Great value. I mean, I think MBK is just nailing it with the value proposition lately. Uh, $200 to $215 for M390 and full titanium that drops shut. Um, it's great. It really is. The value is great. Um I would not personally buy this knife, which makes me even more grateful that Sanford let me borrow it and review it so I didn't have to buy it and find out, right? Um, but I think a lot of people will love this knife, and I think that's pretty much served well by what you hear out there in the community. I've heard a lot of good things about this knife, and those things are all true, you know? It's just that this isn't for me personally, which is just how it goes right um so yeah i can recommend this knife to righties especially um just you know be a little bit weary of the clip being a little tight you might have to make an adjustment you know um and then you have that early detent or late sorry detent break on this knife uh breaks right there and it's a little bit chunky so those things are my kind of negatives if you want to say it um it's a gorgeous looking knife it has an excellent blade that is ground exceptionally well. The ergonomics are outstanding on this knife. And the action on the clothes and the detent are absolute money. So um, that's my review of the MBK Turbo, guys. I'll get this off to Bob, the knife junkie, to check out. Um, I love you all. I really appreciate you guys sticking around, listening to me rant and rave as usual. If you made it this far, hey, maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not. Uh, hit that like button or join the uh, thumbs down gang. Uh, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.